Hey guys, all right, well, we're gonna jump right on into another shop tour for you guys today. Super excited about this one. All the way from Delaware, Ohio, we've got my man Eric Hughes with the EH Group. Actually, real time, we just got done finishing a mold shop for ourselves. The guys are headed out to lunch and uh, just having a beautiful, productive week. Hopefully you guys are as well. So really quick, big shout out to Steel, Equipment Defender, Cujo Yardware, and Yardbook for sponsoring today's tour. We're gonna talk a little bit more about Yardbook here in just a quick second. Any which way, if you guys are part-time or if you guys have a big side hustle, you guys will totally relate to my man, Eric Hughes with the EH Group. The guy's awesome, he's got a gym and business, he's got a big family, and the guy's got it going on, including a beautiful shop that we're gonna go take a quick tour of right now. Let's check it out. Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here. All right, we're gonna jump right on into it. Another shop tour for you guys. Super excited about this. I'm over here in Delaware, Ohio, hanging out with my man, Eric Hughes. What's up, boss? How you doing? Good, man, how are you? I'm good. It's good seeing you in the flesh. I know, it's been a while. I, it's Since been- that Expo, no, I, LAL. LAL yeah. and uh, Equip Expo. Yeah. But uh, nonetheless, uh, beautiful country out here, Ohio. Um, you guys got it going on, man. Yeah, it's we're ready to cut grass. It's uh, the trees are blooming, the grass is green, and we're ready to go. Hey, Amen. I, as I went from Michigan to Ohio, the grass went from like a you know dormant yellow all the way to beautiful green. Are you guys out cutting yet? Next week. Next week. Next week we start. Awesome, man. That's awesome. All right, so we're actually over here at your uh, personal property. You got a beautiful barn behind us. We're gonna do a little uh, shop tour. Um, why don't you do this real quick? Give them like a. 30 second highlight reel just so they know who you are and what your business looks like and then uh, let's talk shop. So I'm Eric Hughes, uh, this is the EH Group and uh, thanks for coming to my shop tour. I'm a school teacher and uh, I do landscaping on the side. We've been doing uh, this since 2006 and I've just grown and grown each year and uh, just by God's blessing and uh, we mow about 80 counts and throw down about 800 yards of mulch in the summer. Uh, when school's out. So uh, I got a couple guys that work with me and uh, it's been good. Awesome, man. So what are we looking at behind us? What do we got going on? So we got a 40 by 50 uh, shop, 40 wide, 50 deep. It's uh, where I got all my gear, uh, three trailers and uh, two trucks and uh, all the equipment's in there. We'll take we'll take a look at that in a minute. But uh, Amish built, uh, they, they threw it up in four and a half days and uh, they did a great job. It's been a great asset to the to the business. Cool, now was this here before when you guys moved in? No, no, the Amish built that. We moved in three years ago, uh, three and a half years ago, and then I had them build it as soon as I got in here. That's awesome, man. And uh, what was the dimensions? You said uh, 50 deep? Yeah, 50 deep by 40 wide. Do you know how tall it is? Uh, 12 foot tall. Okay. So at the at the uh, at the corners there. Yep. yep. So and uh, we had a 60 by 80 gravel turnaround that I, I did all that. I did all the gravel work and prep, and then they came in and put the posts and did the concrete and building and all that. So that's awesome, man. So yeah. Uh, and then let's go over to the side, man. I'm following yeah. you. So um, right. little beautiful lean-to patio thing. Yeah. So great place just to kind of meet with the guys in the morning uh, or at the end of the night, just kind of recap everything. Uh, table and chairs, a little fire pit and stuff like that kind of all set aside for the winter but um if i had to do it over again i'd, I'd make it 12 feet wide uh it gets, it's a little tight for the table or just have an extra you know emergency storage for a trailer or other piece of equipment if i needed it for the winter okay but um i like that it's only halfway um but you know a full length would be nice too but uh yeah it's just great to have it's just a little meeting area that's awesome man so, and so really quick question for you um employees do they park here basically or where do they go yeah so they'll park here and then i got parking down the other side of the shop there. oh okay uh there's gravel and there's parking there so i'll have the trucks pulled out and then they can either park here or park on the side or even inside nice so Awesome, man. Yeah. Cool deal. All right, where are we going next? All right, yeah, let's head inside and we'll take a look. All right, so uh, here's, here's, here's my shop. Um, again, 40 wide, 50 deep. Um, so I got my two uh, trucks and, and trailers here. Uh, this bay is kind of more equipment and tune-up stuff. And then the back is, is even my, my workbench, blade sharpening center. And then in the far back is uh, storage for salt, grass seed, fertilizer. And then over on the other side, just miscellaneous equipment. All right, so starting off here, I got a couple right mowers here. Uh, standard eye, 36 inch. Uh, this is new, I got in the fall. I already started putting it to work with the cart mate, uh, the smaller cart mate, uh, doing some small mulch jobs. Uh, I got a bigger cart mate here uh, for the bigger mulch jobs. Uh, steel pressure washer there. And then uh, this is a 61 inch ZK. Um, with the right back, I actually just got this yesterday uh, and mowed my property with it. Just picked up a few leaves and bagged the grass. 
so pretty happy with it so far. I think it's going to do a phenomenal job when, when the fall comes. I was going to wait till August to get it, but I thought, you know what, might as well get it now. I got some cleanups I could do now, and who knows what was going to happen <laughs> come come summertime, That's right. come fall time. So might as well get it now while it's in stock, and I can get it. Uh, leaf leaf plow there, uh, so use that a little bit as well. I got a couple of properties that are, you know, they got a lot of leaves to move to the back or to the front. So uh, then the bagger will help too with those properties. All right, um, just a couple saws, miscellaneous tools over there, and then here's kind of just some uh, chemical uh, storage there. Uh, sprayers, haven't pulled those out yet, not time to, to spray, but uh, we got all that right there, easy access. We got, got the hose in to fill them up or fill up, you know, in the trailer or the truck bed, wherever I got it, so I can quick uh, recoil that. That's and actually really cool, that real hose. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see right there. That is a giraffe. You've probably seen it online or Amazon. They, yeah. they advertise a lot, but uh, I've had it for two years. It works fantastic. And uh, man, like I said, just zip it in and out and you don't have to wrap it up or you know, just mess with the hose. You yeah. know? It's, it's super easy. Just like an air tool real, real hose, it's, it's amazing. There you go. Um, just anything to stay organized and to stay like efficient. So. Uh, and then, yeah, I just got some miscellaneous stuff here, some advertising, some of my advertising marketing stuff up there. Um, bed edger here, it's getting worked on. I had to replace a, a bearing, but that's that's here, that's that's ready to be done. Uh, so that's for edging the flower beds. And then, yeah, coming back here, this is kind of all the maintenance corners here. So I got good room to work. I got these stall mats, which are great because it uh, saves your knees when you're down there working on, wrenching on stuff. Um, and then, yeah, you know, trailers pulled out and stuff like that. So we've we've got all that here. Uh, big well, fan of, time yeah. out. You got to go like yeah. pan this way a little bit because this is yeah. awesome, man. This is a huge workbench. Like, yeah. did you come up with all this, or did somebody yeah. help you put it all together? Yeah, yeah. This is all. Uh, he actually kind of gave me the workbench, but it was small. Yep. Uh, I got a buddy standing over here in here. the background. What's up, Anders? So, yeah. How you doing, bud? Great. <laughs> Uh, there's always more people on the tour just so you guys know yeah. behind the scenes there's always like uh remember the old mtv videos by the way like uh the cribs tours yeah and they'd just be like the rapper's friends like hanging at the <laughs> poker table like just in the background you're yeah. like why why is that guy there but there's always a couple extra people on the tour so shout out to everybody who never makes the camera uh just a quick little fun up behind the scenes <laughs> but yeah so he gave me the, the table and then i made it bigger uh and it's great for just throwing a, a trimmer on there if it's on there, a hedge trimmer or whatever you're, you're working on just good to have extra table space extra extra working room i love it so i love and, it and uh see my sticker collection from all you guys and all the, the companies so uh i don't know whoever started that idea but that was a good idea all like the it. stickers yeah so. grown men collect the stickers right? <laughs> i know right so obviously i got my right sign got got support right uh just adds to that like i like the the neon or kind of led nowadays yep yep <laughs> like, I don't know, lost art, but that, that's still around. And then, yeah, just anything to stay organized, you know? So, you know, you're, uh, I hung this up to hang up my drills and, and, and impacts and stuff like that. I got all my spare parts here, you know, extra um, right gears, you know, all my oil changes for the season. It's, it's all here, belts. So I'm not gonna be down for very long if I do go down. So uh, that's important because, uh, you know, dealer might be closed and, you know, you might not have, the part till tomorrow or the next day so if you have a few extra parts on your shop or in your shop it's going to be helpful amen so, to that amen to that if yeah. not at least in your enclosed trailer yes yes yes, yes. and then um now this sharpening. is now this is cool not to interrupt you yeah. but what the heck dude this is an incredible looking setup like this is a dream for a lot of guys yeah so i kind of took inspiration from mitchell gordy and then also just uh other places online that you know either dealers or other places that i've seen their their setups and then uh, just kind of made a little blade organizer so I can have three blades sharp, pull, put them in the doll ones. I know where to go. Things aren't just kind of anywhere and everywhere in a corner. So it's all organized right here. So I can change blades. The guys can change blades or, or whatever. So uh, I'm a big fan of Magnumatic. Uh, there's other good ones out there, but this has been working for me. So not going to change. No. So quick question for you who does all the blade sharpening or do you do it you got the guys responsible I do, for it uh most of it and then um i got another guy that he'll he'll do it too okay uh, the guy that does my mowing crew he he, he leaves that um he, he can sharpen if he needs to but I, I try to do it you know maybe in the evening when uh the day's done that's awesome you know but i got enough blades to last for you know a month to six weeks so uh so yeah. Uh, who made the uh, the carp? By the way, this is actually pretty dope. That was me. I just made that this fall. So so yeah. It's cool seeing like a little nuances and how people come up with these little inventions. Yeah. 
and a little belt sander for pocket knives or just the back of the blades you know I, i'll sharpen the back of it so it just gives a little bit of a you know cleaner cut on the back and then just a sharper in the front so uh that's that's nice as well i love it man so, that's awesome good for you guys man and then yeah get running out of room here but um this is all, all salt and fertilizer so i like being socked up uh in the spring didn't use much uh this year so i didn't have to add to it but um i do have a couple pot pallets at at a couple larger places that i do commercial work for but uh this will be here and it's just good to this will hit for some of the smaller commercial places and then i get deliveries to the bigger commercial places but yeah this is all salt and calcium and then i don't know if you can sneak in a little bit more but uh uh, I, I'm, I got a start for fertilizing and, and, and seeding, overseeding. So this is all starter. This is all my grass seed. So, uh, cause I got the aerator, which is not here, uh, but it's got a, uh, the hopper for the, the stinger and I can overseed or I can, I got a slit seeder. We'll see here in a minute. And it's just, it's just right here because again, I'm a teacher. And so anything I can have to be efficient and ready to go, you know, not have to go after school, go buy something. It's already right here. And you know, we can go when the weather works and I can go, go seed or go fertilize or go mow or whatever. So let, let me interrupt you again. Cause uh, this is going to blow people's mind, but you all right guys, well, hope you are enjoying the shop tour with Eric Hughes with the EH group. Always a good time getting to visit my friends down in Ohio. We got a bunch of shop tours actually from that part of the country this spring. So Eric is just one of the many great ones that we have coming down the pike for you guys over the next six more weeks because we're doing eight shop tours in total. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this tour, I invite you guys to check out the link in the description down below for the correlating podcast that we did having Eric Hughes tell his story on the Fullerton Unfiltered podcast. It was a really good time. Hey, let's do this really quick. I want to talk to you guys for just a quick minute about Yardbook, which is the CRM that we use to manage, grow, and run our lawn care landscaping business. If you guys are just getting started in business or maybe you guys use other CRMs out there and you're looking for a different option maybe you're not happy with the one that you have, I want to encourage you guys to check out Yardbook. Yardbook is what we've been using for over six years now to grow our lawn and landscaping business. And my gosh, this time of year with the spring rush, I don't know how we would stay organized without having something great like Yardbook to help keep all of the ducks in a row. Any which way, if you guys are looking to schedule your work, keep track of your inventory, send invoices, the charge card on file for your billing for the end of the month, and so much more, I would encourage you guys to check out the free yes free crm from yardbook in which way we'll leave a link down in the description down below big shout out to yardbook and of course the rest of the sponsors steel equipment defender and cujo yardware for making this tour happen guys that being said let's hop back into it here with my man eric hughes over there in delaware county ohio from the eh group let's check it out let, let me interrupt you again because uh this is going to blow people's mind but you have a full-time job as a teacher that's a full commitment brother yeah it is yeah so how, how are you managing a business with a half dozen guys, hundreds of thousands in revenue, and you don't even get out there till two, three o'clock. Yeah, uh, well, I get really organized, all my jobs, I get everything coming in in February, so that way the season's booked out. I okay. know my mulch jobs, I know you know what I need to do. Now, obviously there's stuff that comes up here and there, client says, oh, hey, can you plant some flowers? Can you stand, plant some bushes? Like, I get that in, you know, somehow I, I get it in, but uh, I know, you know, what lawns we can mow, I know how many we can mow in a night, you know, the route, uh, route density, obviously, you know, we can do, you know, 13 in a night, you know, with two guys, two mowers, you know, so it, it works, you know, and on Saturday we'll hit 25 yards or whatever. So that's incredible. Uh, that's so, yeah. incredible. And then in the summer, you know, we peppered in between the mulching and the mowing, you know, or two crews, you know, we'll be mowing and mulching. So that's awesome. Yeah, it's, it, it's a lot, but, uh, we, we get it done. Uh, you know, and like I said, I think just yard book and just, most of my clients are repeat clients, so I'm not having to go out and track new business down uh, a lot. And so, you guys use uh, Yardbook? Yeah, we they're, do. They're one of the tour sponsors. Okay. And uh, I think I actually was talking to you a long time ago. You, um, a buddy of mine, a local Alex Grugan, and then uh, Jonathan Florida Turf Pros. Yeah. Because I've asked a bunch of you guys that have been with Yardbook for a long time, and uh, it's a great CRM. Yeah, yeah. Yardbook is amazing because you asked about how I do it. Well, that, that's how I do it because the calendar, the routes, my guy knows the routes. He can get it, click it, knows where he's going for the night. So, there you go. So, yeah, that's key. Um, before we go too far down, yeah. this is the main mow rig. Yeah, this is the main mow so rig. So, we'll, we'll flip to the other yeah. side because this is 
what I always see on your Instagram stories. Yeah, so this is, this is uh, so I had the two other rights there, which I just got uh, at the end of the season. Uh, I'm gonna start a kind of a second partial mowing crew. Okay. Um, and that'll be kind of me and just kind of fitting in some yards or to help the guys out or just have a backup in case something goes down. I got, a, got another mower. Um, so yeah, this is the main mowing rig. I got a 61, a 72, uh, the Z case and then uh, the standard B 36 inch for the small stuff and then I've got twheels on them I, I like the twheels uh, air tires are good, but I, I like the twheels I like the wider uh, Foot path. I like that. They I feel like they don't mark up the, the turf as much especially when it is wet It kind of floats a little bit more mm -hmm. um, Stability is good comfort. It's it's about the same as an air tire. I, I don't notice a huge difference in comfort, but uh, They've lasted a long time. So um, I'm a bit. Oh, yeah. I'm a big advocate of the airless tires. You got Tractus, the Twheels. People roast me all the time on social media for them. I'm like, if you've tried them, you're a believer. Yeah. Period. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you get one downtime, one 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 nail or uh, you know irrigation flag, and it costs you a yeah. hundred dollars in productivity, cost, downtime. You know, even fixing a flat. And the guys that have them love them. So yeah, I'm not, I wish I got paid to sell them, but I don't. But I'm just telling you, they're they're look at them. I know they're expensive, but yeah, all the big guys have them for a reason. With all the trucks and trailers, like I just, it's the, that's the last thing I take care of is the is the air and the tires and checking the, the the PSI. And so if I can have some mowers that I don't have to worry about, it's it's worth it. So now we now we just need them for the actual utility trailers. Yeah, that would be cool. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Because uh, man, I tell you what, I go through tires every year and a half, two years. They just you know all the turning and the cul-de-sacs mm -hmm. the roads they they just wear down super quick but uh let me but yeah this is an 18 foot trailer so it's it's good uh get a little extra storage room uh, in the fall if any leaves or stuff like that or sticks but uh load trail cool uh, it's been a good good trailer brand for uh, me what, one quick question how do you like the 72 by the way 72 um, is amazing because i've got three acres here um i've got some other properties that are acre two acres you know lots and so the 72 is just the uh productivity is insane the 37 horsepower is insane when it comes to mulch season and the leaves uh, or just the wet heavy grass in the spring like uh they both have 37 horsepower but the 72 two is great I used to worry about it scalping the properties uh, and it just doesn't happen unless you get two homes that are real close together and then you've got the drainage so you got the 60s to go in, in between or the front yards or whatever but you know we'll take the 72 in the back one guy's doing the front with the 60 you know or you know you're separating one side of the street the other side of the street and then they trim them both and yeah so in and out yeah in and out yeah hey, five, five on our on our on our on a on a street you're done in an hour hour and a half or whatever I, then, hey we got some big commercial stuff yeah. i need to get some 72s yeah 72s is where it's at all right watch your step here but uh this is new also i just got this uh this fall this is just a grade my gravel driveway i got 800 foot gravel driveway uh gravel driveway abi you've probably seen that mm. on uh denny uh uh the uh oh my gosh blanking denny down turf? uh gci turf yeah say G yeah. GCI. yeah he, he does his ball fields and mm -hmm. he does some other gra uh, uh gravel grading and stuff like that so this is a smaller homeowner version for uh you can put on your zero turn or, or your four wheeler or stuff like that so uh so yeah this is great for for that i haven't done it commercial wise this is just for for my place but could there you go. So, well, you got to get a tractor like Mitchell, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that that'd be nice. So, and then this is just a fun fun tool. Uh, get the Honda. Yeah, more more of a toy than a tool. Uh, the kids like it. So I have six kids, and so uh, yeah, they enjoy taking the trash cans down or just riding in the field back behind our property. So. So anybody making excuses out there? Full time job, kids, family, any of it. You've you've kind of eliminated pretty much every excuse on this tour. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to work hard and just be organized and uh, be disciplined and uh, be intentional with your wife and your and your family. Amen to that. All right, man. So where are we going with next? Uh, okay. this, is, this is cool. I guess we'll keep keep here to the back here. But um, so this aluminum trailer is great. This is the the fertilizing uh, aerating trailer. Um, also, it'll be kind of the partial mowing trailer if we kind of do some other yards uh, this year. Um, or, or small landscape jobs if the mowing crew's going out uh, and I don't want to take the big dump trailer which is uh, to, to my other side here but this is great because it doesn't rust and, and you know it looks good all the time never had to touch up with paint and uh, this is a 14 footer um, local trailer company just down the street here uh, picked it up from him 
I, I like the aluminum. It's, it's super lightweight. So, uh, and I got the Z spray on there as well. So nice. So, so really quick, uh, what's your core business? What do you guys focus on? Um, cause I, you know, you got a little bit of everything in here, Yeah. but what uh, are you guys more mow, more landscape, more fur? We are probably like, um, we're probably equal as far as the, the mowing and the landscaping. Okay. If you kind of wrap in the lands, the fertilizing with the landscaping, um, even though I, as far, as far as revenue, you know, sure, uh, sure. but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty equal 50, 50 and then, uh, snow, it's probably 10% in there. I do have a plow that's buried in the back there. I do a little plowing so as well. There you go. So, uh, but yeah, so that's that trailer. Uh, and then this trailer is another load trail, 14 foot uh, dump trailer. Okay. All right, and uh, had this since 2016. Uh, the aluminum trailer 2016 as well. Uh, it's been great. No logos on it, but I did repaint it last last winter. And then uh, if you come up to the front here, this is probably, again, being organized. Like, I don't have to spend time unloading tools at night or, or forgetting tools, because I got it all right here. Um, That's awesome. Everything I need for a mulch job or landscape job, it's here. Uh, multiples of, of things as well. And then this one from Equipment Defender, I love this because this is, holds all my combi stuff so I can you know clean up the beds, clean up the property and uh, uh, the power heads and head trimmers are in the, in the, the truck. Uh, but yeah, these, this is all right here. So it's all, all efficient, all organized. There you go. Looks good, man, looks good. This is a dream come true. It's like having your purse with you. I'm telling you, for like a ladies, it's like the, I, it is, yeah. the, the guy purse, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah. the enclosed trailer or having the utility rack, this is a big dream for a lot of guys. So yeah. I love and it. It's, it's off the side so the loader can load and, and not bang anything up and it's just right there in the front. So, you know, it's that's good too. I love it. All right, last but not least, kind of down here, the sides, it's um, a little tight, but just miscellaneous push mowers, uh, tiller, slit seeder, extra gas cans, extra blowers, and uh, auger. Uh, you know, don't use it a lot, but when you do want to need to put in some plants or a mailbox post for someone, it's nice to have. Uh, and then a pole saw, you know, that reaches up 16 feet. Uh, that's just great. Again, don't use it a lot, but when you need to, you have it, it's there. And the client's happy that you got the branches off their second story and sc scratching their window in the middle of the night. So from uh, the windstorm. So, and then further down is just uh, snow blowers, salt, uh, salt uh, spreaders, stuff like that. So I love but, it. Yeah. Just all the other kind of miscellaneous landscaping and storage. So cool. All right, man. Well, uh, I guess that's kind of the inside. Um, anything that you would uh, change or do uh, over again or any uh, helpful words? Because uh, a lot of guys, this is the next level, man. This is uh, building a dream for a lot of guys. Yeah, I would just, if you're going to build a shop, lay it all out on paper first. Like plan out your bays, like plan where you're parking what, uh, your equipment wise, um, tools, you know, ex the extra stuff that, you know, you don't think about, like plan that space out. And then that way you're going to know, do I need to go a little bit bigger than what I was originally thinking? You know, I built a 40 by 50 and, um, I've been pretty happy with that. You know, it's, it's a little tight, but it's pretty organized. Um, I obviously I can get some more things in here, but, um, you know, obviously you might only be able to build a certain size. So be organized, get rid of stuff that you don't need. If you haven't used it in a couple years, sell it, donate it, trash it, whatever, you know, and just don't get cluttered so. amen to that amen to that yeah um one thing uh let me walk this way for a quick second i gotta show the uh, the banners on the wall yeah that's just the coolest thing ever man yeah. it's like uh all you're missing is like a old classic coca-cola <laughs> sign you know yeah that's awesome man yeah. but uh that's really cool man well um anything else specifically you want to uh share with these guys while we got you man but if not um well, maybe where can they find you on social yeah so thanks for coming thanks for watching um the EH group on Instagram or the EH group on Facebook. So EH group is just short for my initials, Eric Hughes, and then the group, because I want to sound big. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I actually, I used to do uh, photography as a business and I used to sell my artwork, uh, my ceramics. I got a kiln and wheel in the garage. So at the time I started my company, I was doing that on the side, doing some weddings, doing some, some pottery, and I didn't know what I was doing. So I just kind of encompassed the word group just because there was a lot I was doing. And then as the landscaping took off and I really started to go with that, then, you know, it made sense to, to kind of keep the group. And then again, like, you know, you have several employees or people or maybe a family member like down the road. I got six kids, who knows? But uh, yeah, 
If you want to hit me up on Instagram, I'd love to chat. All right, man. Well, cool. Hey, appreciate the tour, brother. This is awesome. And uh, wish you guys the best this upcoming spring rush. All right, guys. Well, we're going to button this thing up. Again, shout out to Equipment Defender, Steel, Cujo, and Yardbook for making this happen. We couldn't do it without them. Hey, if you guys are enjoying these shop tours, what I'll do is I'll leave a little card or end screen here, whatever it is, and you guys can check out not only the rest of the shop tours that we're doing this spring, but the eight that we did last year's spring. Any which way, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks so much for supporting. Big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video. And we look forward to catching up with you guys here on the next video video.